hello and welcome to today's video so in this video uh i am going to show you how to make these two buttons work so i'm going to create two views that will help us be able to mark each task as finished or we'll be able to delete each task so uh we need to go back to our views.py file and in here we need to create two views so the first view we are going to create is uh we're going to name it dev delete d e l e t e delete task let's name that one i'll just name that delete task i will pass in request and name now i'm going to show you why we're passing in name so what we need to do is for now let's say pass and then let's create a new viand name it updates for up -E. and we're also going to pass in requests and we're also going to pass in name and here we'll say pass now why exactly are we passing in name i am going to show you so we need to now create a new view a new url for these uh two views so what we need to do is go to our urls.py file put a comma here and we'll create a url and name it um the first one is delete task delete task and then after that we'll pass in views dot uh delete task i will give it a name of delete and after that we would create another another url path and we would, we would name this one updates and we would pass in views dot updates and we'll give it a name of updates so let's just save this so one thing that we now need to do right here in this urls each of them is that we need to come to each one and we need to type in something we need to say str colon name and do this so basically why are we doing this what we want to do is uh anytime this button is clicked we actually need a way to we need a way to tell which particular um um to do item has in, has been clicked so that we can delete that particular item from the database now the way we are going to do it is that we are going to create a url and whenever that url is clicked uh it's going to pass in the name of whatever item we have created here so what whatever um item we clicked the url in the url sorry sorry whatever item we are going to click in the url the name of that item is going to be passed in and then that uh, name is going to be sent to the um, view that we just created and using this method we are going to be able to grab the name from the url so you are going to see how this works shortly so let's just save this and then the next thing we need to do is um in our views.py file we now need to say we now need to get whatever we need to filter through the database and get um this particular um item that is being sent from the url now i am going to explain this more so we're going to say um get to do get to do is going to be equal to to do dot object dot get and then what we want to do is we want to get um we want to get this particular to do item using the user that is currently logged in and then the name of the to do so we're going to say user is equal to request dot user and then we're going to say to do underscore name is equal to name that is this name that we're passing in here and why are we saying to do name is equal to name because we gave this particular um field to do name this module is the char field so uh once we've done that this is going to get this particular um it's going to get this particular um this particular uh to do item from the database so this the next thing that we need to simply do is we need to say get to do dot delete i believe it is get to do dot delete that we have to do i would like to quickly 
check that to see if I am right and yes it is those delete that we simply have to do now all we need to now say is so after deleting this uh after deleting this task i want you to return redirect to the home page so we're going to say return redirect home and this is simply going to um after deleting the task it's going to return it's going to redirect us to the home page now there is one last thing we need to pass in in this um to do.html what we need to pass in here in this button is we need to now tell this button to send these people to this particular url that is now going to send them to this particular view so anytime the button is clicked from right here it's going to send them to the url and the url is going to send them to that particular view so in this delete uh button right here we need to wrap this inside an anchor tag so we we'll put a right here and then we'll just paste whatever we what we copied earlier so inside this url we now need to link it dynamically to go to this particular uh delete url so what we're going to say right here is to link in django dynamically what we do is we put this curly braces put our percentage signs we say url and inside here we pass in um we pass in the name of the url that we're trying to link to which is delete so i'm going to copy and paste that right here and then we need to do the same thing for trying to mark it as finished so i'm just going to control x this create an anchor tag um paste what i copied before and i'm going to link it dynamically so i'm going to do this and say url update i believe i named the url update yes so all we need to do now is just save and let's go back to the front end and reload to make sure everything is still working fine okay so everything is still oh we have an error right we have an error because there is one more thing we need to pass in so right here in this delete field we need to pass in i dot name so while we're passing i dot name i'm sorry i dot to do name to do underscore name i dot to do yeah so while we're passing in um i dot to do underscore name we're passing it here because um we're trying to first of all so let's retrace it in the views the pi in the uh home page is filtering through the database and sending all these um to do items to this front end and then here we look through it to say for i into those so basically we're saying for every item into those display them and then what we're also trying to do is we're trying to pass in the name of this to do into this url because uh in the url it takes in this name and then it is now this name that is being grabbed from the url in this particular view delete task so here we're saying to do the objects that get user is equals to request or user and then to do to do name is equals to this name that we pass in here so i be i know that might have sounded like a mouthful but i want you to um if you are confused i want you to rewatch it and um try to understand what i was saying so once we've done that all we need to do is go back and refresh this page we have another error okay let's just comment this out for now so let's comment this out and save so once we refresh we can see everything works fine now and if we hover over this delete in the left side of your screen at the bottom we are going to see forward slash delete task forward slash then the name of this particular um to do item so if i try to delete it we have an error so let's see the error it said reverse for home not found home is not a valid view function or pattern name so uh i know why we're getting this error let's go back to our views and then it's saying the error is coming from line 61 so we come here and we see line 61 giving us there is no valid url name as home so let's go to our urls and we can see it's named home page 
so that was the mistake we made or mistake i made so i'm going to replace this home with home page now once i refresh this uh it says to to do matching query does not exist uh so let's try to solve this together let's debug together so we're trying to say to do the object or get user is equals to request the user let's get check that user okay is equal to request the user and to do the underscore name to do underscore name is equal to name so i'm just going to debug this and uh fix it okay so i um so apparently there was no error in our code the only error that i was getting was because when i reloaded the page the item had already been deleted before and i was attempting to delete an item that didn't exist so to prove that it works right now let's first reload the page and then let's uh try to delete host to do on heroku if we hit delete we can see the item was deleted and if we go back to the database and refresh we can see it was also deleted from the database so now we've been able to um update uh, we'll be able to um add the delete functionality to our code the next thing we need to do is we now need to add this um finished um functionality so right now in the update uh in the updates view what we need to say is we also need to copy this and say get to do and we'll paste it so since we want to mark this as completed all we simply need to do is all you are going to say is get to do dot status is equal to true and then we're going to say get to do dot save so what we're trying to say here is that remember um when we created the models we gave we created a few the name status so this checks to see if the uh to do item is completed or not completed yet so if it is completed it's definitely going to be true and if it's not it's going to be false so right here when we are trying to uh when we hit the of this button it comes to this view it gets this particular to do item and then it sets that field to true and then it saves this to the database so what we now need to do is we now need to return redirect to the home page so i'm going to paste this so let's go back to our to do.html and uh control z what we did earlier and right here we need to pass in i dot to do underscore name so let's save that and try to uh reload our page and see what happens so we're getting an error uh what does it say it said could not pass i dot to do underscore name from updates from update i dot to do underscore name so uh okay we need to give it space here uh so let's refresh right so it's fixed now we want to now change this please subscribe to completed so once i hit finished we can see it has changed to completed and if we check the back end the database um the dashboard rather and we can see we can see the status has been changed to true and if we also do the same for up upload video tomorrow if we hit finished we can see the status has been changed to completed so that is how to um update this particular field that's how to update each field in uh each field of our to do item in django please if this video was helpful please don't forget to like share subscribe come back for more and if you are still confused or about the video just you can rewatch it again and rewatch it and if you have questions please kindly leave your questions in the um kindly leave your questions in the comment section and i will be happy and glad to reply to your questions thank you for watching this video watching this video and in the next video we are going to talk about restricting pages to only logged in users so right now um anybody can just come to the website can anybody can just come to this particular home page even though uh the user has not written an account yet so in the next video we're going to talk about how to restrict pages to only logged in users 
Thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next.